Hey guys, so we actually decided to be productive today and instead of spending the day together with Rico, we split up. <laughs> so he is right now with our project manager who happens to be also, oh god that's a big title, the head of, of the engineering, engineering and, and production, production department. department. All right, yep. good, I did right. that right. <laughs> uh, Vladimir, so Rico and him are working out a bunch of technical stuff because the equipment needs to be ordered. And we are, that's Christina, which also has a hefty title. Christina is working with Bering. She is the head of the buying department, I think it's called. Uh, purchasing department. I actually don't know what the department is exactly called. Head of product, product department? department. Right. Look at me, I'm bailing yeah. it today. <laughs> She's awesome. It's great to work with her. Really, really like her energy. Actually, the first time when we came to Bearing, before we ever decided of getting a Bearing, we were picked up at the hotel and then we're driving to Kekova, a little uh, town here in Turkey where the 77 and the 70 and the 60 back then were, which we filmed. Well, we are at the shipyard. <laughs> okay, I hope he's stopping. Anyway, so we got picked up and then we picked up Christina on the way. It was the first time we met her and immediately clicked. I mean, she's, uh, she's just a great person to work with, always a smile on the face. The whole Bering family, like we feel, we feel like we're part of it. It's really important when you're building such a big piece of equipment that you feel trust and feel part of the, the team. And it's not just an anonymous huge company which um, everybody wears a suit and you don't have that personal connection. So I really enjoy that. I really like that. And I, I, gotta, I gotta say that uh, makes me also feel confident, confident. And if you're wondering what that is, that is the, <laughs> it's a break signal. So let's take a break. And Saida, which I don't even know your title. Sales support manager. Sales support manager. And Saida has literally been assigned to our project. So she's been working with us hand in hand on just keeping track of whenever we have meetings, writing like minutes. And she's basically that person's like, oh, I have one more thing that we need to discuss. <laughs> She's been extremely helpful. So we're sitting down and going through the GA, which, you know what? I feel like when we got into it, I didn't even know what GA stands for. General, General arrangement. arrangement. There yeah. you go, you guys. Because I feel like people just throw that word out there, GA, yeah, GA, yeah, GA, but GA, nobody, GA, really nobody knows, knows what, what GA is. GA. Yeah, because you think like it should be GL, like a general layout or something, but it's general arrangement. So anyway, this is our GA. We signed the contract, we had to, basically agree on somewhat of the most basic but assigned to us layout, which you guys know, for us, the big thing was having our master up on top on our boat deck, so that is part of our GA. But we have a whole bunch of things that we want to customize and make it personal to us. So Rico and I have already went over to discuss, we had a few Zoom meetings just sort of talking about it, but we wanted to make sure we sit in person with the pen and pencil and just <laughs> draw stuff and do it properly so we have a little bit of a better understanding what, what it will be and I don't know, a new experience. How many different stages of layouts? From right now we sit down, by the time we're done, do you think it's gonna take us like five, um, 10, 20? Let's say general it's over three because... Uh, oh, this is definitely gonna be over, th over three. Um, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you now, it's gonna be over three. Let's Let's do more because uh, <laughs> we know you, you have so much My list is very long. <laughs> and, and you have experience and uh, I'm really excited to take some new ideas from you for this G. Well, get ready because it's going to be a lot of stuff. So basically you would say like normally people do what, like three, five? Right. How do we do it? Do we do it deck by deck or what do you think? Let's do it deck by deck and let's start from the main deck in my opinion. From the main salon, for example, from this part. This is a... Pretty standard bearing 75 layout, right? Like we didn't... Yeah, the, the one different is the master up. Yeah, so we have a few sliding windows on this model. So there's a sliding doors here. Yep. And these look like very large, so they open all the way, right? Yep. And then we also have some sliding doors here you know, and sides. some sliding doors here. So there's quite a bit. And the one thing on this model, which we did initially change, which is probably worth mentioning to you guys, is that the crew quarters, we had this wall here, which basically made access to crew quarters available from exterior. 
So the crew could pretty much avoid coming in at all in a salon. It could just go through here, had a, like a corridor here, and it went to the crew quarters. That's how initially it was. And immediately based on the charters that we do, we kind of knew that we don't want to do that. We would rather have a full beam for this galley. And so we pretty much got rid of it immediately. But I think because of it, it's going to cause some changes because obviously the way it looks now, it's eh, not exactly as inviting. But yeah, so we have crew quarters forward. We have a galley here. Our staircase up and down is right here. There's a little sitting area here, salon and aft. So one thing I want to make sure that we could implement is some kind of shoe storage. That's definitely on my NBBL. If you guys are new to the channel, NBBL is something I made up. It stands for new boat build list and it's not an official term. It is totally our term, <laughs> but now apparently everyone's using it. You know, our demo bearing 80, mm -hmm. uh, we decided to make it uh, in the sides, like take a place here. Yeah. We can do this in the right side and left side of the yeah, sofa. Let's, let's put that tentative. I think that'll be good. Yeah, something like it's gotta be a little bit smaller. Let's say like that. Yep. The next big thing uh, for us was we would like to have an extra storage. We'd like to have a sink in this area. So maybe we could like put it here, like a small little sink. Yep. Yeah. And then Rico and I were talking about it. And I think because we have so many other sliding doors and doors, we don't really want to have this whole thing because then we have no option to put something here. And I think we would like to maybe have like a little thing here to have a little more storage. And I want to have for charter guests, like their own dedicated little space where their personal stuff can go when they're out. So we're wondering if we can make one sliding door here and then have this window here kind of like pop up like that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, for sure. I think that would give us some space. And then on the mm -hmm. inside, we can create a little more, you know, space here, almost like a bar when it's open. The one thing that kind of bothers me. So we have here, we have a door, right? It's not on here, yep. but there's a door that goes into secondary entrance into the engine room. Yeah. So like we have an this way. Yeah, we have an access from exterior and then we also have access from interior, like a foul weather, like a bad weather bad access, weather, of course. So, which yeah. is great, of course, I'm not trying to get rid of that, but it is like, every time I see it on, on like trawlers and long range cruisers, I'm kind of like, this is just an ugly door sort of inside of your uh, space. I'm wondering if we can create like a hidden door, like hide it with something. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You know how you see like in, in the movies and stuff, you have this door that's behind something. So it's like a shelf and then you open it and it's an actual door. Because yep. we're never going to use it often. It's only going to get used in special weather. Okay, good. Yeah, why not? We can do that. Of course. We would do that. <laughs> I was so happy. I was really kind of bothered by it. So if we do it, I think I would like to have a bit of a counter space here. So when this window is open, this sort of a bar area. And then if this would be like a little shelf here, masking this door, then we can make this whole area like a bar. Yeah, we're gonna need bar a little go. space here for to open yeah, the door. To open. Exactly like to that. To clear it. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you guys just figure out how this works technically, but I think I would yeah, love yeah. to have something okay. like that. Okay. Cool. Another big thing was we wanted to just get rid of this. I know Galaxy really likes it. It's like a card table and we would like for the space to feel a little bit more like a luxury catamaran when you have this kind of a dining lounge area convertible and not really like Okay, if we, we we're scratching out. this out. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking we would like to add some sort of extra seating to the bar. So our like chef interaction is um, on the charter is, is just like a very comfortable If thing. we take it out, we can yeah. think how we can use this place so we can do this a little bit bigger. Yeah. And also would like to rework this area. It's very difficult to get in and out. Yeah. So I would now like to have a big table with yeah. a high low. Would like to have some kind of a foldable way that we can you know these tables can get smaller and so you can get in the middle i hate when you have to go all the way around like it drives me crazy i don't know like okay. how you guys feel about it but there's giant tables it's so annoying that you have to like ask people to move and if you need to use a restroom so okay it can be too small so high low yeah. and then kind of convert them in which can become one big Love it. Okay, nice. Rico is obsessed. He wants to have these two chairs. He wants like an orange chair. So it's like his thing. It's on the list and he has to have it. That's his very small list that he has. Okay. <laughs> I have to give it you to him. You can do with this yacht. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? But there needs to be, there two, has to be two orange, orange chairs. chairs. Yes, they have to be there. Exactly. It's silly as it is. 
Okay, cool. And then we have like a storage and a TV here, so that that's fine. Another thing which I think would be really important for us. I saw on one of the boats we were on, I saw uh, like a little spout for flat water, sparkling water, chilled water. I would like to get away from any plastic bottles or any bottle use, except for obviously like beer and wine, okay. but for water. So we just want to have a refillable. So all the guests come on charter, they're going to have their own recyclable bottle that we give them. So they use that bottle for the whole trip. So they're not, we're not using any bottles. Like it's yeah plastic mm -hmm. don't definitely want to use plastic and also it's less trash it's less to carry on a boat so it just kind of helps so would like to make a really nice like a coffee station that the guests can just go and make their own coffee they don't constantly have to ask the crew or go to the kitchen or you know so i think maybe this area would be nice i mean this is another possibility but this almost feels like a better space. I think here is here a place for it. Yeah, because we can make it bigger, right? We can make like a whole thing here and make it this whole thing a coffee station, put a drink fridge there for like sodas and stuff that, yeah. you know. Because generally this place is... Nothing, right? For nothing. And now we have kind of space because we got rid of this thing. Continuing the conversation of extra space, we're wondering maybe we can make some kind of a extra table that maybe swings out, like a unique feature to the boat. So it would be like this extra countertop that would swing around that we could put it away when we need it. When we swing it, then all these chairs could move and we could have more people sitting around here. We can do this because if we take this table out, yeah. so we can have enough place here. That was a really bad drawing, huh? I need, to, I need to practice. <laughs> That's okay. I can. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. <laughs> We'd like to see it on the rendering, see if we like it, but it's kind of an idea. We kind of think it might be like a cool feature when you walk in and you have this like very unique thing that you've never seen before. The day head. We can, we can produce such table. Yeah, no problem. Of course. I love hearing it. <laughs> so we have the day head. We're happy Never with say it. no. Never say no to a client. <laughs> Uh, cool. Well, I'm getting spoiled here. I'm getting everything on my list. I'm like, check, 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 check. Okay, so then the, the galley, I think, is a good space. We just need to figure out how to, to lay it out. The crew quarters, though, so we have some thoughts on that. First of all, this feels really tight. And this whole corner just feels very weird when you come in. Like, I don't like the way this flows. So we're putting washer and dryer in here. It's a, se a separate unit on top of another washer and dryer down below. We might have a couple as crew. And we're wondering if there's a way for us to maybe do like slidable beds or do two beds. Maybe one is a Pullman that we can, so if we just have chef on board at some point, and then they can just put the bed up and have extra space in the cabin. Or maybe it's two slidable beds. I don't know, like we kind of playing with that idea. We can play like yeah. with, with that, yeah. Maybe we could just try a different layout from you guys and just see what, what else, what else could be done in this space, Okay. you know? Big question mark. Crew uh -huh. quarters are a big thing big, for us. Big, like big, for us we too. really want to make sure that we, we have, know yeah, I know you guys are big on crew quarters, so we agree on that. So yeah, I just feel like it's not ultimate. Like it feels good, but this to me is too tight. And I just wonder how else we can do it. Let's go up. Yeah, let's go up. Okay. Let's go up. Mm. Upper deck, bath house deck, right way. We are most likely gonna tow a tender. And we're pretty certain on that. So we're not gonna really ever put a tender here. Of course, we wanna keep the crane in order to have an option. And if we do like a long crossing, we definitely gonna have some kind of tender that we'll put up. But in general for just cruising Caribbean, like where we start, we just gonna tow a tender. So uh, we're planning to have this area because we did steal this sky lounge for our room. We'd like to have this set up with some nice outdoor furniture and having that as basically the flybridge for the guests. Can be without any problem. So that, that's something we need to just yes. figure it out. And we wanna make sure that we have a few things here. I have no idea we, how we're gonna fit it, but we'd like to have a barbecue, a sink, little dishwasher for glassware okay. and stuff. And uh, did I forget anything? We have a place here. We can and an ice maker. It. We can add it here like... Okay, sink, grill. <laughs> I know, I don't what think... Else? I mean, we, we were thinking maybe we can go out a little and make it like a, an L shape. You know, even if it sticks out a little bit. No, actually it's enough place for all... Oh. We, could, we could do some stuff yeah. there. Yeah, so maybe like a barbecue here, you know, and then mm. an ice maker underneath. 
a yeah, little it's gonna sink, be like a small, small sink kitchen. and yeah. a little like a little dishwasher to have up there we don't have a dumb waiter we kind of have to have a second dishwasher and i know it's gonna be hard but we're just gonna figure out how to fit it in because i think it's gonna be such a big difference for us to be able to not carry glassware from sound downers and stuff not carry like you know small plates just wash it there so another thing i'm thinking that i would like to have is having some kind of storage space for just maybe some dishes or some glasses up there so we're thinking maybe to add a little compartment here like just basically enough to fit a plate you know that kind of size like a small like small storage small storage there yeah mm -hmm. which can also serve like as an extra little bar area and stuff you know that you can actually make drinks up there cool good well our cabin we're pretty happy with the only thing we would like to have is we would like to have an openable hatch here to be able to get some cross breeze and maybe on this side as well i know this is probably a vladimir question just to make sure that we can but it's a top deck, so we feel like that's yeah, only should be doable. Like no yep. Okay, yeah, just so we can confirm that. Oh, big one. Rico wants a 180. I guess kind of between queen and king for the US market, but in, in Europe they have this size 180. We would like to have a drink fridge here and a little coffee station, but just a loose coffee machine, we don't have to build it in, but just definitely a, a drink fridge here. And the size of this to be enough for someone to be able to take a nap. I don't know what that means, but some kind of a nap size. This, I think the only thing I would like to do is to add a table or flip this table somehow so we can make a one large table. So you could actually eat here. Um, what do you think, maybe we can make Maybe like an, some this table openable. here and make them so we can connect them can so it opens. One yeah. openable or two connect tables like yeah. Oh, we recently seen these tables. I don't know if you've seen these. They're like kind of angled. The base is not straight, so they're a little bit angled. Angle. Yeah. So when they come out, they perfect they're height. To, yeah. So I think that would be that would be maybe something we can do here, but for sure a space that we can like eat and, and do stuff. I think that would be nice. Mm -hmm. So the last one. This yes. one is the yes. lower deck. Is the lower deck. We definitely like to make sure we have a drink fridge in the master. Just like a little drawer, a simple small one, so nothing nothing too big. Mm -hmm. We're really happy that we're able to fit in the whole, you know, separate head here. So that's that was a big one. I'm glad yes. we did that. Okay. How that happened, you guys, is the boat just got wider. <laughs> As we were just <laughs> discussing this model, they were still going through the architectural and I don't know what's uh, uh, naval engineering Never of it. Engineer. And the uh, naval engineer basically said, well, the way this is so much gross touch in this boat, this has to get a little wider. Alexi basically told us and said, your boat just got bigger, it got wider. And we were like, can we fit a full head in the, in the master? And he was like, yeah, I think now we can do that. It's like, that sounds great. Just keep making it bigger. <laughs> So we're really excited about this. This is all good. I don't really, really have any anything here. I know we're gonna have the second door here. Like this door is this is a yep. bulkhead, so the, this is gonna be a, uh, gonna be one more door. a watertight door. Watertight door. So which that, yeah, actually you can most of the time it's gonna stay open. Here. Yeah, right? it can be like near the wall. Perfect. Like. Okay, so this stateroom, I would like to be able to have an option to have let's say three kids on board. And so I would like to be able to do a Pullman, either here or maybe here. So it comes from this side here. Because I think then it makes it easier because these people can sleep with their heads this way if they have a, you know, a third person, instead of someone sleeping on top of them. This is only then on top of their legs versus mm -hmm. like a whole person. Let's check it, let's check Let's see what model. works with the size, yeah. right? And I think I finally convinced Rico to go with some good quality pocket doors instead of doing this whole door here. So I think we would like to just go with a pocket door here to just have a little extra room. And maybe switching the location of the toilet versus the sink. So the sink is here. So if we leave this door open, you know, you're looking at the sink, not toilet. So kind of switching these a little bit. We can put the sink here, this side. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be better. Because then, you know, the if this door stays open, at least you're looking at a nice vanity and yeah. not looking at the toilet and this feels a little more private. Yeah, same thing. We'll do sliding door here. So this could be that. Mm -hmm. We don't need Naval architect. Well, yeah, we'll have Christina. We're, we're fine. We got yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Can we like move this bulkhead here a little bit this way just to give it, you know, like a little, a just few a little feet, just, a, just a few inches? <laughs> the beam is okay? Beam's great. Okay, yeah, thank <laughs> you. The beam's good. 
<laughs> Normally, we're not doing such change. Actually, for all the models, we have a standard J, yeah. where we cannot move any bulkhead. But this project, being 75, it's going to be the hull number one. So we can make some little change till we make it a standard. I was joking, like, but <laughs> she just told me I might be able to move a bulkhead. What? I was literally joking. I didn't think that, but I mean, I guess that's a bit of a trade-off. You still have like an engineering stages, right? That you're... Yeah. Because I know we were talking about like electrical and stuff and there was quite a bit of flexibility because this hasn't been built yet. Yeah, so yeah. it's still, it's all being figured out. In that case, I would like to make this shower just a tiny bit bigger. So if there is AV room to play here, I'm, I would be interested in what could we do here just to give it a little more space for this cabin. I don't know. You tell me. Maybe you can uh, bring it up with Vladimir and see what can be done. What's the next stage? We'll take a time to discuss with our engineers all the parts, all the decks. And uh, let's say in one and a half or two weeks, we'll come back to you. With a, with with a, a new J? J. Okay, yeah. cool. And we can discuss it again. And then I know we need to start working on appliances, right? We need yeah. to start to uh, make 3D models for piping and all. That's why we need to know where we're going to place the appliances, right? And which mm -hmm. kind of appliance it's going to be. The biggest issue is that our yacht is US spec. Yeah. Which yep. I know we're just throwing it out there, but a lot of people don't know what that means. So it's all going to be to, uh, US electrical specifications, so not European. So ours is going to be 110 and different hertz than the uh, European hertz. And mm -hmm. European is 220, so we don't have 220. On top of all that, we want to be able to use warranty mm -hmm. in US. So we're going to buy the appliances in America, ship them over here, and then we ship it all back again with the boat. <laughs> So that is something I like that. didn't really <laughs> anticipate when we went into it. I didn't even think about that. So basically, you need to figure out this appliance situation with much quicker than I thought. And I thought I'm just going to be there like deciding on the models. I didn't understand that I actually have to do some research to figure out which brands in US I want, what we feel would be good, and then all the equipment is basically need to be US spec. Yes. Yes. So there's most that. Of, most of it, yeah. Yeah, that is that. And that is definitely struggle is real, I think, right now, because it's just well, also a lot. Some, some engine room equipment, some pumps. I mean, we have you know, firefighting pumps, emergency bilge pumps. I mean, all that needs to be US spec as well, because we have the whole electrical system on the boat is all US spec. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> Discussing with Vladimir where we put the equipment. And how's it going? We need a bigger boat. We need a bigger boat? Yeah. Oh no. 